Okay. Well, we'll see. But everything you just said makes a whole lot of sense. So and there's nothing really I can say about, you know, the Bitcoin oh, analogy there. And that. I mean, there's really nothing because you're right. I mean, Bitcoin, it did that. It absolutely did that. And in plain sight for everybody to see. Uh, mm-hmm. But like I said, to me, it's an anomaly. It's not a normal thing. Bitcoin is not a normal thing. I it's mean, not as a normal hard as we class fight, at all. You're right. right. As, as hard as we fight to normalize it, it just is. And by its, it's, by its nature, it's not normal. It's not meant right. to be normal. It's meant to be abnormal, outside mm-hmm. of normal. And that's the whole point. So but it's, it's hard to cool. quantify that. It's hard to quantify that. And it's definitely hard to compare that to Silver's movement or any precious metal movement. But I'll give you I know. You I got the, extreme I'll, on that side. I was being extreme for the sake of being absurd. It, but look, I'll, I'll give you that. It, it absolutely is a possibility Silver could do that. And I will, I will, you know, I will concede that that is absolutely a possibility. I don't see it happening. I definitely don't see Silver going past 25, maybe 27 this year. I mean, I probably, maybe I'm wrong, but we'll see. Mm-hmm. At the end of the year, we'll come back. We'll have the same talk again. <laughs> but, I, I would like to add. I would like to add real quick. So here's the thing. So, so the the event that would cause silver to move beyond twenty five dollars, exactly what I said, for the central planners to get their boot off the neck of silver. All right. Mm-hmm. And what does that look like? That looks like the Federal Reserve sunsetting their interest rate hike program. What does that look like? Well, right now, we just had a 25 basis point hike. You, you were talking about that. Mm-hmm. And I think for the month of March, we're going to do the same thing, right? 25 mm-hmm. basis points. And I heard the final basis point hike, 25 basis points, is going to be at the beginning of May. And that will sunset the program because it will reach that target Fed funds rate of 5.25%. And they'll be done. So think about that. So that's May. So May, you no longer have the Fed raising rates. And by the way, when they do that, when our Federal Reserve, which is the most powerful central bank on earth, raises interest rates, it increases the strength of the dollar, which weakens other currencies around the globe. They get into a bind, and then they raise their interest rates to try to combat or try to defend themselves against that. So if the Fed stops, they stop. And then all the currencies start to drift back down to lower levels, and that right there is going to be, I believe, the win in silver sales to not get to 50, um, but definitely possibly to get to 30 before the end of the year. I'm going to call 30 before the end of the year. I'm going to okay, go out on them. I, t- I tell you what, I-, I love silver 5150's uh, optimism. I tell you that, I really do. I really do. And I-, and I hope he's right. I hope silver does go up to 30 this year. I, I just don't see it, to be honest. I, I just don't. I-, I think there's a couple of things we can do um, to get silver up, I'll talk about it at the end of the video. Um, but I hope he's right, though. Well, I'm going to tell you this, and you'll hear it here first. If silver does reach 35, let's say 35 to 40, mm-hmm. that's going to be the psychologically important price. Oh, and what is that? Goodness. What is oh, the psychologically man. important price? It's where if the silver Sorry. spot price ever gets to 35 to $40 an ounce and maintains that, let's say, for the entire year, then right. that is the psychologically important price, and it'll never look back. The same thing happened with gold. Gold reached a thousand dollars; it never looked back. Some people say that silver's psychologically important price is thirty-five to forty. Right. If it reaches that, then it won't look back; it'll just go on from there. If it does reach that, then I believe that you're right. It you know, the sky's the limit after that. But the but getting there, I don't see the path for that happening uh, anytime soon. In the next, okay, definitely not in the next three three years. Okay, he said three things there, and I agree with two of them. He said that once it hits a psychological number, it'll stay there. I agree with that. And also, he said he don't see it happen in the next three years. I agree with that. I don't agree with the number, though. I I said it earlier. I think the number's 30. Uh, The reason why is because that's just a psychological, that's just another decade. Like, remember when we turned 20 or we turned 30, it just completely changed, like, when silver hit in the 20s, silver was in the twi- teens, what everybody used to say. I wasn't in silver back then, but I used to read, um, you know, done some history lessons about it. Oh, it's finally in the 20s. It's in the 20s. You know, that's a psychological number. You know, now it's just staying in the in the low to mid 20s right now. You know what I mean? Once it gets past the mid to the, to the high 20s, it's still in the 20s. But once it hits 30, that's the number. But it has to stay at 30 because it touched 30. You know, it touched it. But I'm talking about actually staying at 30. I think that's the number right there. Silver Joker, I got a question for you um, and even the fans um, out there. What is your view on the possibility of there being less bullion grade silver available for purchase in the primary or secondary market? That 
is one of those things that I believe is the curveball for mm-hmm. silver price that nobody right can really see coming. I, I don't know. I mean, I think there's enough silver. You hear it all the time that there's enough silver mm-hmm. above ground, mined out silver to last, you know, where not be a, well, an issue. Well, it'd be a long time. It'd be a long time. And it's only because I think what I heard was there's a lot of silver in the strong hands of silver stackers, owners. So, I mean, the silver is available, except it's in really strong hands. And so between, you know, the possibility of mines um, getting drier and drier. Okay, I got I to gotta stop him right there real quick. Um, I agree with him about the, about the mines getting drier because it is going to be supply and demand at the end of the day. It just is. You know what I mean? I don't agree with him about the, the, the silver in strong hands. Now, us on, these, on this video or us watching the, these, these uh, YouTube channels and us watching this right now, we have strong hands, right? But there are people that have, that have, you know, there's silver stackers all over the country, all over the world. The problem is, again, inflation is hitting them hard. And also people are retiring and they're turning in their silver. So, yeah, we have some strong hands. But right now, as you can see, these are facts now. These guys, these are facts. The silver uh, in, in, the, in the stores, in the silver shops, they're, they're packed with it. You know what I mean? So it's not like everybody's just hoarding it and nobody's selling it. Because that's the case, then the price would go up automatically. You know what I mean? People are selling off their silver. So, uh, again, I I do believe in in the silver mines being drained out, but I I believe it's just being passed back and forth between us and the uh, and other dealers and and private sellers and stuff like that and private buyers and stuff because people are just getting hit with inflation. And then big players, you know, I'm not saying that Elon Musk is going to decide that, you know, his uh, that his next plant is going to you know need all this silvering like that. Or that Warren Buffett's going to revisit 1997. But the thing is, it's very much a possibility that Apple or someone will look and go, geez, man, you know, price of silver is over $35. It's closing consistently between $35 and $40. We should probably um, buy forward, right? We should mm-hmm. buy forward to make sure that we can um, front run some uh, higher prices. Just okay. speculating. Uh, the only way I see silver possibly going to these high valuations is if something like a silver squeeze was to happen, you know, Ooh. on that scale. If something like a silver squeeze happened, like with GameStop, remember when that mm-hmm. happened? If, we, right. if you could get something similar to that happening, where people like, I guess, got to have physical silver, then maybe, maybe we reach that, you know, that uh, psychologically important price and then silver takes off. But barring something like that happening, I really don't see the economy on its own, pushing people ah, to where silver is okay. going to be, right. you know, it's going to explode. Or I take see off. what you're getting at. Yeah, I see what you're getting at. Okay, because because in in the vein we were talking about, all those things we just mentioned, I mean, all of them, would actually constitute the silver squeeze required to break the banker's hold, mm-hmm. like it says in the old song, and stuff. And so it would be at that point. But is regular economic activity as it is right now with the Fed managing interest rates? You're absolutely right. It is not going to do much of anything there will be need there'll need to be some kind of black swan gray swan silver swan to uh to break that up right and and my my whole point is it doesn't need to be, go there it does not have to go to 50 dollars an ounce to be right. valuable to you as far as protection for your finances and that's where i stand on it all right that's well right. i think we just about covered everything i mean and, and you know we're still friends at least you know right now while until we're until the next debate yeah <laughs> but no, this was fun. <laughs> and where do you stand? Please leave us a comment and let us know where you stand on this. But anyway, that's all I got. Anything you want to add to that, Silver 5150? I would just say this. We've been talking about the silver psychology of it all, but I will say this, guys. If you're out there purchasing right now, I have two recommendations for you. You don't have to follow up on them, but just check them out. If you're looking to buy gold and silver, you really want to consider increments. The smaller the increment, the better because you get more transactional pieces that are assayed and weighed and, and marked as such. Um, go check out Money Metals Exchange. They've got the gold backs there, different denominations, different sizes, right? And they've also got the Valcambi 100 times one silver combi bars. Just those two items. If you can't do anything else, look into those, do some research, decide if it's for you, and that'd be a good play to make as, as we get closer to these higher inflationary times. And there you go. Very well said, my friend. Um, and as usual, you guys know that, uh, you know, Silver Train is rolling. I mean, there's plenty of room on the Silver Train. We'll add another car if we have to. Anyway, appreciate you guys stopping by. Keep stacking. Peace. <laughs> Peace. 
Uh, what a what a talk. Two great silver stackers. He's right. Uh, he's got room on his silver train, and I'm 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 getting on board for sure. I I uh, I love that discussion, man. I really did. Um, you know, Silver 5150, he's, he's a, he's a great guy, man. Great stacker. Check out his channel. He doesn't make a lot of videos over there. Um, but you know, you guys all know Silver, uh, Silver Joker, but you know, my overall thoughts was, I, I agree with, uh, Silver 50, uh, excuse me, Silver Joker the most. Um, I hope Silver 5150 is right, but, um, you know, they said a lot at the end, but I, I believe Silver Joker, uh, is just being, you know, calm and cool about it and everything else. But, um. Now I do I do disagree with Silver uh, Joker on the thing that he said you don't need it to be uh, fifty bucks an ounce. I, I need mine to go at least fifty bucks an ounce because if it's still in the twenties with inflation, so again twenty five dollars right now will buy what twenty five dollars will buy right now. But in the future, if it's still twenty five bucks, and that same twenty five dollars ten years ago only can buy, you know three dollars worth of stuff then i need i need my silver to go up as if you guys do too so um you know there you have it guys let me know what you guys think uh, in the comment section below two two titans in the game in the silver game uh my my overall thoughts was um honestly i love the debate i like i said i agreed mostly with silver um a joker but i'm definitely uh with silver 5150 on his optimism but i will say this on my final thoughts um we need Bitcoin too in there, guys. We we need that too, and a piece of the pie of the of the uh, you know overall market and the money and stuff floating around. It, it needs to go to precious metals and Bitcoin. But I will say this: we need to be ambassadors. Okay, the only way silver is going to go up, and I agree with what they said about what he said about the uh, having a silver um, you know run on silver. I agree with that. But the only way we're going to do that is not just a bunch of apes and just a bunch of few of us going out there getting it and get all getting it all at once. That's not the way to do it. It's not you can't think short term. We as silver stackers and silver ambassadors and Bitcoin ambassadors and Bitcoin stackers have had to go out there and, and, and preach to the masses and tell them what what they what they're missing. You know, what I mean, take them to the coin shops. Let them hold your silver. You know, what I mean, be an ambassador. Let them let them know what's going on because somebody told you about it. I'm thinking. Cause somebody told me about it. So pass the word, guys. I'm serious. You know what I mean? Teach them. You know what I mean? Talk to two new people. Talk to your family members. Talk to your friends. You know, a lot of people are, are, are and this is what I, I say about, you know, silver stackers not showing their face. A lot of people are so scared to let people know what they have. You don't have to let them know what you have. You know what I mean? Just let them know that you, you stack silver and you need to, too. You know, you don't want to be a guy and hide and, and make him say, oh, well, if you if you stack silver, you got to be like me and hiding. I don't believe in that at all. Again, I love Silver Joker and I love Silver 5150. But where I, I completely disagree with them is how they don't show their faces. It's not about their face and them showing their face. I don't, we want to see the silver, obviously. But again, we want to see a face with the silver. And we want to let people know I'm, I'm a real person and you don't have to hide. And this is going to be mainstream. But if you have to wear a mask and show, hide your face and all this other stuff, that means you're showing people that, hey... When I do it, I have to hide too, and I don't agree with that. But it's up to us, guys, at the end of the day. It's up to us to show our family, friends, constituents, and loved ones the stacking silver and Bitcoin is the way to go. All right, guys, let me know what you think in the comment section below. Do you, do, do you agree or disagree with me? Do you like my uh, commentary? Do you agree with what I said? Who are you going with? Who won, Silver 5150 or Silver Joker? Uh, let me know. Uh, please, guys, in the comment section below. Do me a favor, guys. If you like this video, hit the like button. Only if you like it. If you like my channel and my videos, go ahead and share it. Guys, am I sharing stuff with you? I think so. Sharing a few things. This is a long video, so I better hurry up. So since I'm sharing my thoughts and sharing uh, what I'm saying about Silver Joker and Silver 5150, at least you can do is share my videos because you already know sharing is caring. You guys also know I love you very much. You guys are my boys. Guys, you know what to do. All right? Keep spreading the word. Keep telling everybody what's going on. Keep your head on the swivel. Uh, keep on fighting and keep on stacking. All right. That's what we're all doing. And that's what we got to do. And we got to get our family and friends to stack too. All right. God bless you. God bless this country. And we're going to keep going. All right. I love you guys so much. Thank you for so much for watching. All right. And I'll talk to you soon. Peace and love.